So it's 11 a.m. right now, and this is the day I had all week planned out to go hiking, but unfortunately I woke up with a headache. I actually went to bed last night with a headache and it just never went away. So I slept in, took it slow, but I still want to get up to the White Mountains and do some hikes. So I'm changing my plans. I was going to hike Mount Musilaki or Franconia Ridge. Like I was going to do a 4,000 footer above tree line, but I pivoted. Pivot! I did some research on the computer this morning and I found five different hikes in kind of the Lincoln, Franconia area of the White Mountains that are all under two miles. And I think I want to go and maybe do all five or maybe get some ski runs down at Loon, but that's the plan. I did a couple things this morning to help me feel better. I went to Dunks. I didn't feel like I needed caffeine, so I got a refresher. Also got a breakfast sandwich and I'm actually in the parking lot for Dollar General right now and I just got all my hiking snacks. So a couple pop tarts and protein bars. And that's kind of like my pre-hike ritual when I drive up to the White Mountains. I got gas, dunks, Dollar General for snacks, and now I'm on my way north. Oh, and I missed it. <laughs> no! sunny today. This place is so cool. So when I planned these hikes this morning, not only was I planning short, easy hikes, but I was only planning hikes that I've never done before. And I feel like sometimes the it's slim pickings because I've done a lot of hiking in New Hampshire. But this place is like blowing my mind. I knew it was called the Discovery Trail, but it didn't occur to me how like educational it would be. There's signs everywhere like educating me about the forest and trees and it is gorgeous. And yeah, it is an easy hike. I mean, it's going uphill a little bit, but it's really good. <laughs> And there's benches, like literally every minute. And I wonder if it's like paved under here, so it's an accessible trail. I'll try to figure that out. This hike might not have a lot of incline, but it still has a good view of those white mountains. And I just finished this hike. It was 1.1 miles and it was perfection. I'm pretty sure I just smiled to myself that entire time. Didn't see anyone else, but there is one other car in this parking lot. And I am just so happy I got out of the, out of the house even when I had a headache and got some fresh air. And now I'm really excited about the next hikes. I hope they compare to this. <laughs> Real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Element, because Element actually played a huge role into me even being able to leave the house in the first place and go on these hikes. Element is a science-backed electrolyte drink mix that has no sugar, and it's what I use to hydrate myself on and off the trails. So when I woke up with this headache, the first thing I thought to myself was, I need some Element, I need to hydrate, because I know that's gonna help me to feel good. Element has, like I said, a science-backed formula. It has exactly what you need to keep you hydrated. It's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, and I promise you it works. This morning I had the citrus salt flavor, but they have so many good flavors to choose from. Just go to their website. My link, which is drinkelement.com slash Nahamsha, will actually get you a free sample pack with any purchase that you place. So if you wanna try it out, again, that's drinklmnt.com slash Nahamsha, and that link is in the description of this video. Now let's go on another hike. <laughs> So my next two hikes are actually out of the same parking lot. I parked at the Flume Gorge Visitor Center and right now I just hopped on the Roaring River Nature Trail, which is 
I think just three tenths of a mile, the sign said back there. So doing a little walk. I don't think I've been here. Maybe I have. I don't really remember it. But my next hike, the Flume Gorge, I have done, just not in the winter. And I think it's going to be a whole different experience that I am really excited to see. This is a cute little nature trail. I feel like not much to it, but I was the only one on it. Next, I'm going to go head to the Flume Gorge, and there are so many cars in the parking lot, so that's probably where everyone is. Alright, so this is the loop I'm doing. It should probably be about two miles. So last time I did this hike, it was summer, and I think I paid $15 to enter the state park. But now that it's winter, it's free. So that's a big bonus. So I guess the winter route is a little different than the summer route. I'm not actually walking through the gorge, but I did get as close as I could to it and actually saw an ice climber, which looked so cool. <laughs> like I've never ice climbed. I don't know if I ever will, but that looked insane. <laughs> and it looks like it took a lot of talent. So that was cool to just stand on the bridge and watch him for a couple minutes. If I don't see anything else on this hike, I think that was worth it alone. I don't think I've ever seen an ice climber in person, especially in a place this gorgeous. The trail did go by the top of the gorge where I was able to get a view from up there and also a view of a few more ice climbers, so watch them for a little bit. Also got another viewpoint looking out at all the big mountains in the distance. And now I'm slowly making my way back down. This is a loop. I'm looping back to the parking lot. I've already done two miles in this state park. Getting the steps up today. That was fun. Three miles in Franconia Notch State Park. Lots of people. It is a school vacation week. So out of the two dozen cars in this parking lot, there's only one other car from New Hampshire, which is crazy. So <laughs> lots of people on vacation, but it didn't seem that crowded. And if I have one recommendation, if you're hiking in New Hampshire or I don't know, any wintry terrain, um, spikes. There were a few people on that hike that didn't have spikes and they were slipping with every step and I don't see how it could be possible to have fun while constantly worrying that you're going to fall down. These are the ones I use. I'll link them below. Um, just huge peace of mind. It just makes hiking so much more fun when you don't have to worry about slipping. <laughs> All right, I know I had two more hikes in Franconia that I had on my list. This is what I printed out this morning for all the ideas that I could go for hikes, but I pivoted Pivot! again. And um, I am at Loon Mountain because it is almost three o'clock and I thought the only day, the only way that this day could get any better is if I did a couple of runs. Um, so I'm going to go skiing. I'm going to go see if I can find my husband because he's here and yeah, just... I don't know. This day has just been really fun and I just want to keep it going. Maybe I'll do the other two hikes afterwards. Maybe I'll go to the bar. Who knows? We're just going to see where this day takes me.
think I got like seven runs in at Loon and I think I'm just gonna call it. No more hikes. I am gonna go to the bar. So there's that. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this random day of hiking and skiing. It was an amazing day. I'm glad I vlogged it, glad I was able to take you along. I swear I'll do some epic hike or camping trip or backpacking trip soon, but I guess this is just a look into my just normal life. So thanks for coming along and I will see you in the next video. Bye.